Hi there everyone, this is your friend Jake and then in this tutorial video guys, I will teach you on how to create a multi-level message box using Microsoft Visual Basic .net. Before we continue, if you are new with my channel and then you like this video, please hit the like button, don't forget to share and please support my channel by subscribing. So let's get started. I just created a login and registration system uh, in vb.net or visualbasic.net in Microsoft Access. Along the way, when I'm creating this application, there are several functionalities that I develop. So, I will try to create a series in discussing the different components and functionalities that I created. So, in this video, I will discuss on how to create a multi-level uh, message box in visualbasic.net. So basically, um, message box is used primarily for reminders, information, but one of the most common questions that I found from in the internet from users or developers or programmers that are starting out learning Visual Basic .NET programming is how to do it. Let's say we will, I will run this program. So here, I have here about button. Click here. Okay, so I will change that one. So I will click this message box about this program. This program was created by Mr. J. Rodriguez Pompirada, my IT, MIT, my email address www.jkrpompirada.com and www.jkrpompirada.blogspot.com my email address is jkrpompirada at gmail.com Bacolod City in the Gross Occidental Philippines normally in a message box you can only display a single message here this program was created by for example so how do we do it using um, multi-level so I will show you guys click ok so I will cancel we will double click this about ok so we have here very simple code so here in the button about button okay let us go back first i will change this one in the property window Okay, so this portion of the code. So we have here message box. This program created by. So in order for us to create a multi-level, we simply type this uh, symbol. A command. Ampersand B B C R L F. Visual Basic Carriage Return Line Shift. Line Fed. For a new line, ampersand again. For if we want to and then we have here ampersand underscore to the next line so we have also here let's say for example I will insert here another message So it will add this portion. Okay, I forgot to put space. Okay, so we have here. So I just added. So when I run the application, let us wait. When I click about, so I have already the date May date colon May 2, 2021. So, by simply adding at the end of the statement here, ampersand vbcrlf, ampersand underscore, and then we write our message here, and then add again, ampersand vbcrlf, ampersand underscore, we can add a new text here. Okay. 
so that's easy and simple to create a multi-level um, message box using Microsoft v Visual Basic .NET. So here, if we are finished, comma, I selected VB information and then about this program. So when we run, we can clearly see we have here the icon information and then the title here about this program. So, I will put a link in the description below, guys, so that you can download the complete and free program listing. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you learned something new in this tutorial video. Uh, this is your friend, Jake Singh. See you in the next video tutorial, guys. Bye-bye for now.